You are now watching Spaz TV. What up, y'all? It's your boy Spaz out here, man. We got a special guest by the name Juwani. Last time you seen him, he was here with K-More. Now he's by himself, solo dolo. How you feeling today, Juwani? Shit, I'm good. Great. Shit. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and hop into the, some of these questions right now. You ready? Yeah. All right, man. For everybody who watches your channel, man, a lot of people are wondering, you know, how does it really feel to have that many subscribers as you have right now in a short amount of time? Shit. Uh, to me, it's kind of irritating because, like, if you put all your social medias and shit out like that, you're going to get hella messages. All like, you can't answer them all at once, but then again, I try my best to answer them. Like, it get, like I be having headaches and shit. I get annoyed because people be spamming me. Like, they be saying random shit, and they be like, like, what the fuck? What is this? But it, it's good. It's good. You know? All right. All right. All right. For people who want to start off doing this YouTube stuff, and they don't know how to do it, and, you know, there's a lot of people who look up to you, you know? With that many subscribers, you know you have a lot of people who look up to you. So what kind of, you know, tips or, you know, tricks you, you could give to those fans out there? Shit. How I you got to where you're too. at. I, I wrote that shit down. Like, if you want to be a successful YouTuber, you need to have a good laptop, a rec Elgato HDP VR2, a group of people that you fuck with heavy, fuck with heavy, nobody. None of the people that you read barely know. And some good games. Thanks, all that shit. Be committed to doing YouTube and shit. Reply to your fans. Never be a biter. A biter is a copycat. Never copy people. Like, always loyalty to your fans. Post daily, all of that. That's all you need to do. Never copy nobody. Like, that ass. Don't copy nobody. Alright, alright. For a lot of people out here who's been witnessing what's going on lately with you and K-More, could you tell people exactly how it started? Because we all know that, you know, in the beginning, it looked like y'all were, you know, like brothers, really, because y'all was always around each other. Y'all always show love to each other. Anytime we seen k videos, it was always mentioning your name. And for everybody who was jo trying to join Jungle Boys, there were, you know, it was a lot of hatred to the new people because k constantly said, if you ain't Juwani, then you ain't shit. You feel me? He was always putting you on a pedestal, and now it looks like he was just talking about using you as business, and that's it. So, what is your, you know, opinions and feelings on that situation? Like, do you want me to explain the whole thing, like the whole story, like right now? You don't, you don't really have to explain it all the way in depth if you don't want to. Look, all that, shit, all with that crew. Me and that crew, like, just a bunch of shit, a bunch of dumb shit, like, me, him, and the other, we all 19, they turned to 20, like, not too long ago, this last week and shit, people was telling me, change up, they was like, stop posting, they was like, stop posting GT, I do some new shit, I didn't tell them when I was in that party, I got a fucking life, like, I go, like, who, who finna sit in the house all fucking summer playing video games? I babysit my niece, like, coming over here, so I be watching her play with my niece and shit. And then, like, college and shit. Niggas trying to prepare for that shit. Who finna fucking sit in the house all day? If, like, my fans, like, they was talking about, um, switch up some shit. Why the fuck would I switch up, up some shit if my fans like this shit? Like, I'm gonna give the fans what they want. I, I don't care. I don't, yeah. like, with me, I, I like GTA 5 sometimes. Like, it's 50-50 with me. I'm gonna get the fans what they want. Why the fuck would I get something that they don't want? That don't make no sense. Yeah, man. But you, yeah, they you always want to feed your fans, man. Hold on, wait. They were talking about do that shit. I'm just sitting here like, all right, all right, whatever. Then, like, like a, a few days later, I like I stopped getting on Xbox and shit. I was on my PS4 because like I didn't like I didn't want to be around them like that because it, like it don't, it's nothing to do with that crew. They don't do nothing. Like they dead ass don't do nothing. It's either recording. Or just fucking sitting around, and I, I, that shit was born. So I was on PS. I was on PS with fans and shit, and people that I knew. So like, I look on Twitter and shit, blah blah blah. I'm blocked. and then some of my friends talking about he's saying some blah blah blah, talking about you letting 
you letting um niggas juice you for your clown shit like that like why the fuck would i care about that i'm not care about clout like if look look if you let your videos like if somebody's there for you they gonna help you with your videos all day every day like they don't care what it is they gonna help you with your video of course i'm a I'm like, I'm gonna show props to this nigga. He, he's there for me. He's gonna help me all day, every day with my videos. Boom, it, like, and then, Hell yeah. the other day, like another day, like the other day, I was like, uh, flyer, I'm, I'm out the crew or some shit. He was like, nah, blah, 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 this, that, another. And then he, I'm like, I'm blocked and shit. He was like, something like, he, I was like, I'm blocked. He, yeah. And I'm and talking about, uh, I'm, I was like, he, he was like, I'm not out doing shit, but I was like, I'm out the I'm blocked this shit, so I was like, whatever. And he was like talking about shout me and shit like that. He was telling me to shout him out for of gratitude. Like, why the fuck would I shout you out? I shouted this dude out in every fucking video, basically. Like, we made a Jungle Boys recruitment video. That was a shout out video. We didn't recruit nobody. And then, like, like what was it? You look at it. The 25th or whenever that posted, the biggest crew that following night before whatever this nigga k messaged me talking about i got copyright shit on my channel that's his like his songs or whatever fuck was his in my videos and then i was like i'm like my dad has caught him a weirdo i said you a weird and he talking about you taking a drain y'all fans didn't know that they was flat draino before if y'all didn't know that and i was like whatever blah blah this that night i was telling the flag it blah, whatever fuck them fuck this and he's talking about i said i wish his mom to die and shit like that did that shit come out my mouth? What screenshot that he had? Oh, where she at? Did I say, fuck K-Moore's mom, I wish she was dead? Did I say that? No, I did not. Like, these little kids would believe in it. But yeah, they was talking about flagging my shit, this, another. So I deleted most of my videos that had his, his shit in it. So I was like, whatever, I'm gonna just re rebuild myself, the fuck? That's all I, that, they was talking about flagging my shit. I stopped fucking with them, so I, and shit. Stop fucking with them, love, I wasn't repping. Shit. I feel that's the best thing for you, man. I think it's really the best time for you to rebuild yourself and, you know, stand on your own two feet without having a name over you, you know what I mean? Now you're at a certain point where you have enough subscribers where you really can build your own little franchise, man. You're like, people don't understand at your subscriber rate, man, the way you've been getting subscribers, man, you you only a, a couple twenty thousand away from getting you a plaque, man. A lot of people don't notice that. People don't know that getting that plaque is really a huge achievement. You know what I mean? And you know, it, it's always good seeing everybody who's coming from this hood community being able to achieve something like that. You know what I mean? Shit, I and, feel and, that's and, only. And I, and I'm proud of you, my boy, because, you know, a lot of people have been doing this GTA hood shit, and a lot of people really haven't made it out of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, it, it's just, just having you on the couch right now is really a blessing, my boy, because, you know, I really feel as if, if you push yourself with your own brand without having a jungle boy over your name or any other name but your own name, I feel as if you could really be one of the top YouTubers, man. Look, let me see. I think it took a year. I think this, what is it? A half to get 80K? This is a half. Like, let's say five. I know. A year and then like a month, I got 80K. Like, if, if people were talking about fucking my videos, this, that, and other, I probably would have been, ha I probably had 83K or 85K today. Like if, if people wasn't on my back and stuff like that, I probably would have had 85k today. Yeah, man. I, I got another question for you, man. Yeah. Where do you see yourself in six months from now? From being on this couch, where do you see yourself in six months? Six With months. YouTube? Let me see. College. Of like another job, like I'm not gonna be doing like I I, I want to do YouTube, but then again I don't because it'd be it's stressful. Like YouTube is stressful, a real job. And shit, like a honey k, honey k. I want that plaque. I dead ass want that plaque. You know, show it off. Like look at that achievement. <laughs> well done. Yeah, man. Cause like let's know. see. Only thing, only thing, like three people got that plaque. So far, I think Drano, Kason, and Remy only got those plaques from the hook community. 
Yeah, man. You you ain't that far from being the fourth one, man. You ain't that far, man. Is there anything you want to say to any of your fans out here watching right now, man? Look, the loyal fans and the disloyal fans, the ones that turned their back on me, nobody didn't say nothing about the mama. I don't care about that crew no more. Never use them for clout. Because I'm going to tell you this real quick. I never used them for clout because I was always on 360 grinding. And then I started to grind on Xbox One. They wasn't in barely in my video. So y'all need to see that. I didn't ask them for shit. Never did in my life. Never. Hell no. I didn't need to ask them for shit. But um, yeah, nobody didn't talk about his mama. Nobody didn't use them. None of that shit. All right. And what? Well, uh, hold on, wait, wait. One more ahead. thing. They was talking about beef and shit, like, like beefing and shit. I don't beef with people on this internet shit. This is an Xbox. That's a PlayStation or whatever. I don't do that shit. They was talking about we don't beef with nobody in this community yet. If we bring up one of y'all names, whoever the fuck, Jungle Boys, who don't like Jungle Boys or who did whatever, they were still ops. No matter what, y'all were still ops. Alright, you know, for all the people who seen you leave Jungle Boys, is there another group that you made? Because I know you, you mentioned something about you having your own little crew. Do you want to go ahead Shit, and tell people uh, what the name of that is, man? Uh, it's Immortal. Like, like you already know people. All the black names and shit took in. So, it was something different. Like, shit, forever. Alright, true, true. Is there anybody you feel deserve to be on the couch next right after you, man? Who do you feel should be on Spaz TV next? k Sign, shit. Like, that's like one of the niggas that you need to get on this. k Sign or that nigga Drano TV. One of those two. Alright, man. Is there anything you want to say before I let you go, man? I don't nobody on this shit. All this shit on video games. That shit is dead. Grow the fuck up. Grow some balls. All that shit. All right, man. It was a pleasure having you on Spaz TV, man. You know, anytime you feel as if you want to get something off your chest, you know, I'm just one party in right away. What up, y'all? It's your boy Spaz out here. If y'all enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this whole situation. If you think k is right or if you think Juwani is right, tell me what you think. And on another note, shout out to everybody in Sky Motion Design. That's my design team that I invented for dope, underestimated editors. Show all of them love. The links will be in the description. I'm out.